just cracking everybody on YouTube. Smash and hit that like button. Hit the notification bell if you haven't already. I'm gonna keep telling y'all at the beginning of the video so y'all have no excuse. Um, right now I'm just vlogging, doing some uh, grocery shopping with the fan. You know what I mean? You know, preparing. Uh, you know, so we don't gotta keep eating out every day and all that. Just gotta make sure your refrigerator is full as a responsible adult. Going food shopping, getting some non perishables. Oh, so while I'm out here doing grocery shopping, I want to give y'all a word of advice to every viewer on here. Make sure y'all stock up on your non perishables, uh, you stock up on uh, rice, beans, like. Uh, Black beans, they're really good for you. Kidney beans, they're really, uh, the red kidney beans, they're really good for you. Um, you know, your lentils, whatever, you stock up on that because they're, especially the dried ones, they last a long time. So um, I'm sure a lot of you who watch YouTube, you pay attention. Uh, there's been rumors circulating that there's a food shortage going on. And, uh, I, um, I have reason to believe that that's true, simply because of the fact that um, basically every time I've gone grocery shopping, I've noticed there would be shelves very bare, which has, I've never seen um, as a youth, as a kid, I've never seen that. Like I've always seen shelves fully stocked um, when I was a kid, you know. Now, I don't know if it's just lazy ass workers or you know whatever or you know there really is a food shortage but like I said there were farms and everything when I was a kid that would be shown on TV and kids had aspirations of becoming farmers and milking cows and all of that good stuff and nowadays that's not even a thing anymore our food is produced in factories um, so I'm just mentioning that to let you guys know stock up on non-perishables you know try your best to get healthy non-perishables so that when you and your children get hungry if there is a food shortage you can make sure your kids are fed um you know stock up on things oh another thing non-name brand food i know a lot of you guys um believe that name brand food is the best that's not always the case uh, usually store brand or what we call knockoff brand food is typically better just read the ingredients on the back uh, yeah what do do they got what is that oh it's just the repeats I'll just get these two, it's okay. Oh, this. For everybody trying to get off soda, this is pretty good. I'm not advertising any products. It's just my personal opinion. I drink it, so, you know, I'm not getting paid to advertise those products. Um, so this is the type of stuff that they got out now. Um, I recently heard pretzels are bad for you but uh I, I seen that on uh uh you know one of those youtube channels that uh you know give you fun facts or whatever the case may be right hey go over here don't wander off um but those ones are made out of butternut squash so they got to be better um so you know so i'm with the wife and kids you know Doing some shopping, you know, making sure we, we're stocked up on non-perishables. Making sure we got everything we need. Oh, another thing. These. Alright, if you got a chip fetish, 
You know, you get you're one of those people that like to snack on chips. Those are very good. Um, they're healthy for you. Yep, they're healthy for you. These are good. You know, they're healthy for you, and you know, you get your little salt craving and everything like that. Um, oh. Rotisserie chicken. See, we about to cheat. You about to eat some crazy stuff right now. Sure, we can. You know, they're coming out with a lot of different things. You know, it's crazy. The flavor I just showed you guys, the rotisserie chicken flavor, is uh, almost gone on the shelves. Um, what else are you looking for, baby? Snacks. All right, don't wander off either. Ask before you walk off because we need to know where you're at. All right. So, everybody, when you go shopping, make sure you keep an eye on your kids too, you know. Make sure they understand what's good for them and what's not good for them. It's okay once in a while to cheat and eat some, you know, junk food or whatever, but all the time is not a good thing. Um... But yeah, make sure you stock up on non-perishable things that don't go bad. But see, my favorite cheat drink right here, that's usually around holiday season, is Cranberry Sprite. You know, I stay stocked up on that every holiday season. I'm about to get some more. You know, my wife spoils me. She gets me whatever I want when we go shopping. So... We usually stock up on certain things when, when we want to, you know, have a little sweet taste. We do drink a lot. I, I definitely, myself, drink a lot of water. I at least drink over a gallon of water a day. I drink over a gallon of water a day. And I got I got a very interesting video for you guys. It's going gonna, it's gonna to make a lot of y'all hate me. It's going to make a lot of y'all love me. You know, I know y'all think some of my videos are a little boring. But I'm just a... Uh, you know, I'm just, you know, sharing my life with you guys and let you guys get a peek at my world, you know. But um, we're going to do this food shopping and we're going to get back to y'all. So make sure y'all go get y'all non-perishables. You know, there's this healthy snacks out there that y'all could cheat with. Uh, we got, you know, mixed nuts and all that. It, the, I like honey roasted. Those are good. The honey roasted cashews, fire, you know sunflower seeds a lot of stuff that you know we eat that's not necessarily good for us but it's better than the alternative snacks that basically make you sick you know so go out there get your non-perishables make sure your fridge is full for your kids and stock up you know definitely get things that have long shelf life that don't aren't packed full, full of salt all right peace smash that like button beat up that notification bell and I'll be back at you.